$30 worth of food right here, french fries, patty melt, chili cheeseburger, and a Philly cheese steak burger. Um, this is a kind of a new spot that popped up, and it caught my eye because of this patty melt. Patty melts are rare air around here. You never really want to trust them. Uh, they didn't have a picture on their, the app, so uh, I went in blind, but it's looking actually pretty good. Uh, and I was like, you know what? They also have some cool burgers here, so let me get one of those. Let me get a little chili cheese uh burger and also what rhymes with chili cheese philly cheese they also had a philly cheese burger which is really intriguing to me um and i'm hungry so let's just let's just get into it man this one goes out to the, the people out there who don't like it when i dissect the food I'm not going to do that just going to show you a quick cross section here's the patty melts uh decent bread i'm not really sure what kind of bread they're using here i like rye sourdough is a good option but i don't know what they're using they didn't say we got onions, we got a burger patty, we got cheese, pretty much the essentials. And it's looking way better than I thought it was gonna look in person, going in. Oh, hell yeah. I've had a patty melt in so long, at least like a decent one. And that's just hitting the spot. There's something about a patty melt. It's like, how do you take a burger and make it even better, perhaps? Dare I say? Turn it into like a grilled cheese burger. It's like, put butter on it and fry it up and then there you go. Like, patty melts. Oh man, it's so good. Got that diner vibe. Something about a round patty on a square piece of bread. Well, it doesn't have to be square. Something about it. The, the crispiness of the outside of the bread, holding in all that gooey, juicy, cheesy meatiness. So damn satisfying. And I know I like this. So, in case these are bogus, I'm gonna save this one for last, for now. Yeah, those are some fries. A little crinkle cut. Not bad. Decent amount of salt. Perfect amount, actually. Could be a little bit crispier, but not gonna nitpick. They have a good potato flavor. They're pretty classic crinkle cut fries. Not gonna blow your socks off. But definitely solid. This would be a good base. You know what? I think I'm gonna actually try to, I just thought of this. What I'm gonna do is when I eat this chili cheeseburger, I'm gonna eat it over these fries. And then all the drippings you can just eat with the fries. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be real messy, but you can see some actually properly cooked bacon. You know what? I am going to have to dissect this one just because of the bacon here. You never see actual bacon that is cooked properly. Uh, and, you know, skimping on the only giving me one slice, you know, I'd like to see a little bit more. But hey, I'd take one slice of good bacon over three slices or four, any amount of bad bacon any day of the week. You feel me? So I'm really happy with that. Looks like Oscar Mayer, if I could, uh, if I had to guess. The chili is a real kind of just meaty chili con carne type of, uh, you're not getting the beans and all the, you know, all the, the extra unnecessary stuff. We were talking meat. This is a, a hearty, hefty kind of just solid chili. It's not really going anywhere. This actually might not even drip down on the fries like I intended, but let's get into this. Yeah, we are starting to get a little drippings here. This is a stander, I think. Oh my god. It's been a minute since I've had a chili cheeseburger. This might be the best one I ever had. Damn. I was initially thinking 30 bucks. A little bit pricey. I would have liked to see maybe like 28 bucks. I'm just kidding. That was stupid. I guess it's a fair price, but now that I'm eating this stuff, it's actually, I would pay more than 30 bucks. That's the 
the quality level we're talking about here. This is like the perfect chili cheeseburger. God dang, that's delicious. That's mighty fine. Never had one with bacon either. Um, the chili is so nice. A meaty bite in every bite. I haven't even gotten to the onions. I feel like that's gonna take it to the next level too. It's onions on the bottom or the top here. Not sure what to think about that. Doesn't really bother me, to be honest with you. Incredible. Hold on, I actually got a little chili spillage in here, so. My plan is actually kind of working. Not really, but you can see, it's better than just dropping on nothing. At least you can just like pick up a fry, maybe like, Maybe not. Hold on. So, kind of like that, maybe. Nope. Yep. That's a good plan. Anyway, good beef, good quality patty there. There, they wrote something on their. They have a sticker that came on their thing. It's kind of weird. This kind of funny English. It says, "Not a patty. This is real meat burger. Don't worry about the taste." Just do eat. Delicious number one burger spot since 2023. That's all good and fine, but like, don't, don't tell me to don't worry about the taste now. I mean, who came up with that? Why would you say that? Of course, I worry about the taste. And I'm also gonna just eat it. Man, yep. Wow. I'll be honest, I haven't had that many chili cheeseburgers in my life. Maybe one of the only other places I've had a chili cheeseburger is from Johnny Rockets. And that was like, man, I still remember, it was like 10 years ago. I was, it's, a, it's a actually a vivid memory I have. But um, no, yeah, this one beats that one out. Come on now. Mm. Last but not least, we have to try this. This is the Philly cheese steak burger, which you, you might think, what does that even mean? You know what, like fine dining restaurants, sometimes they'll deconstruct something. This is actually more like a reconstruction of a Philly cheese steak, putting that meat back together into a patty. Um, you still, this has provolone cheese and it has onions. I would have liked to see an option for like peppers or different types of cheese, like cheese, whiz, or you know, maybe American even. White American is a, a classic, but um, it is what it is. I like provolone. I have said in the past that provolone is a little bit, ooh, is a little bit overrated, but wow, hold on. Okay, I gotta show you the cross section of this too. And on that cheese on the top of that bun right there. And it looks like there's even kind of a cheese skirt on the bottom edge here. So maybe doubling up on the provolone. Look, maybe provolone, if you just eat a slice of it by itself, it's, it's not gonna be that flavorful, but any cheese you take and you kind of crisp it up like that, you're gaining maximum flavor and texture on that little frico. And below it does have some onions on it. So that's, I guess, the final step in giving it kind of a, uh, more of a Philly cheesesteak vibe, I guess. I feel like it's just gonna taste like a burger, but I'll be inter I'm interested to see if it will remind me of eating a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Go on in. My front is damn good, man. I was gonna try to analyze that, but I was like, hold on, let me just enjoy this tasty burger. Wow, dude. Um, yeah, I'm just getting more of like tasty burger vibes.
Yeah, this one's not really giving me Philly cheesesteak vibes, to be honest with you. It's just giving me mighty fine vibes. Especially every time you get a piece of this crispy cheese. It's unreal, man. I will, um, yeah. This place, I respect it. I'm thirsty though. Out of these three, which one was my favorite? I probably raved most about the, the chili cheese, probably because I didn't expect it to be that good and I did not expect that bacon. If I had to get one of them again though, like chili cheese uh, burgers are kind of like special occasion burgers, you know what I mean? They're messy and they impart a whole different flavor from just a regular burger. Honestly, I'd probably get one of these again and it might have to just be, mm, that's, I don't know, that's too close to call. I was gonna save this one for last, but I'm th almost thinking this one is just as good, if not better with that crispy, crispy cheese. This is just making me think, I gotta get to a uh, steak and shake ASAP. I gotta get that Frisco melt, man. So hopefully I can, I don't know, hopefully I can be able to film a Steak and Shake video this year. I've got substance. I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you a little story about uh, New Year's Eve, went to this bar, that beer pong there. Me and my boy Ross, just met him 15 minutes earlier, uh, teamed up. There's these two German brothers talking the most schniz that I've ever seen. Just out of no, like just walking in the room, just talking, like yelling at us, like we're gonna beat your ass at beer pong. So like, okay. Killed him. You what's up? You what's up? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was pretty close, I guess, but that's my story. But shout out Ross, man. But no. Nah. Really, I, I'm still thinking about this. Cause I've, I've never been shit talked to that much by some people I've just met. <clears throat> and it was, it was all in good fun, but I was like, damn, like they I don't play around. Like, is, it, is that a German thing? I don't know many Germans. Let me tell you about these onions on these. Flavor really coming through and the texture too, in a unique kind of way. A lot of times with, a, well, I don't know, maybe just I'm inexperienced when it comes to this, but a lot of times with sea syrup raw onions or kind of sauteed onions, grilled onions perhaps. This one is like a light sear on these onions. So it's like a slightly cooked, but still almost, it just, I mean, it's still obviously white and not fully brown, but just a little bit of, of color to the side of it. And so you're still getting like almost the best of both worlds where you can really taste that sweetness. Uh, it just get, kind of cooked out the raw edge of it. Softened them up. Just a tad. And that's another thing that's making this burger stand out to me. I like raw onions on a burger and just sauteed ones too, but it's a good little balance here too.
어, 와우. 와우. That was special. That was absolutely special. That was mighty fine. That was something else, man. I'm, I'm absolutely full to the bone, though, so I'm about to skate out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.